Hello class, this is section 4.1 and we will be talking about systems of differential equations. Previously, we've had differential equations with one independent variable and one dependent variable. Most commonly, we would have uh, independent variable x and y as a function of x or an independent time variable t and x as the dependent variable, the variable that depends on t. So a typical problem you would see would be something like dy dx equals x plus y, and y is a function of x, or something like the second order equation, where x is a function of t. The exciting new development in this section is that now we have several, several dependent variables. For instance, we could have an independent variable t that stands for time, and functions x and y which both depend on t, or we could have an independent variable t and functions x1, x2, x3, x4, that all dependent on t. A system of a differential equation is something like this. It's of the form dy dt equals 2x plus 3y or maybe dx dt equals x minus 2y. So this is what an example of a system of differential equations. And it has a lot to do with systems of algebraic equations. So the goal here would be to find solutions for y or x, and y and x are of course functions of t. One notational, notational note. In this section, since our independent variable is almost always going to be t, if you see an x prime, that means derivative with respect to t. If you see a y prime, that means derivative with respect to t. If you see an x1 prime, that's the derivative of x1 respect to t, and so on. Just to make sure that, um, remember that y prime in this, in this section, in section 4, almost never refers to dy over dx. The book has several examples of the physical applications of this type of function. You can look them through. They are useful in fluid dynamics, in mechanical physics, in um, electrical physics, and so on. I don't think I'll go through any of those applications in the video, but I'll be more than happy to talk to you about any of those. Just let me know.